Hey, welcome back to Using Emacs. Um, a while ago I did a couple of videos on org capture and how I use this. And um, there was a comment about um, you know how I use the agenda items, I think somebody uh, wanted to know about that. And um, I've been playing with a slightly new uh, workflow and I thought I'd wait until I got that going before I shared this. Um, and uh, coincidentally, um, just the other day, uh, Rainer Koenig, uh, who does some really, really wonderful org mode videos, did something about, did a video, I'll link to it in my blog post, on how he uses, um, he integrates org's agenda and org's calendaring with uh, Google Calendar. And um, that's actually what I'm going to show you today as well, but I use a different method. Uh, Rainier's method is uh, to use a cron job and a script to download the Google Calendars. And that didn't work for me. Um, I don't remember if I ever got it working or I just didn't like the idea um, of having to tie this to a cron job and having to run something on a local machine all the time. Um, I, I just like to keep everything contained within Emacs. The other thing is, um, I like to be able to go both ways. I like to be able to put something into my org agenda and have it push up to Google and um, have something come in Google and come down to um, my org agenda. And um, this is something that I've been playing with. I'm not 100% uh, happy with it. I'm pretty happy with, with the way I'm doing it now and I wanted to share it with you. And I think it's pretty cool that um, you know, Rainer's video does another method so that way people can see what's out there and see what works for them. And if you haven't checked out his videos, I will link them here. Um, they're really, really awesome in terms of getting going on org mode. Lots of good stuff there. So anyway, uh, over here, um, I've actually got, this is the start, I'll make this a little bit bigger even, this is the start of my blog post that I'm going to write because I wanted to collect some data. I don't want to show our my live configuration because there are a couple of bits of code that I don't want to share, um, you know, my, my secrets for log logging into Google, which you, know, you shouldn't share, uh, certainly not in the video. Um, but anyway, I stumbled upon this org gcal, um, which is really nice, so I'm just going to open up a link to that and uh, there we go um, and or gcal nice little package this is a little bit slow today but hopefully it won't slow us up too bad um, nice instructions on this on to how to set things up and you can read these um, but you can read them later. I'm just going to step through them for now. What you basically have to do, or what I did here, and I'll open up this org block, is, um, don't remember why I needed this, but something wasn't installing right. Basically, you have to install um, org gcal, and you have to set up these values um, in order to connect to your Google Calendar. and there's more information here if you want to set up multiple calendars. I'm just setting up one of them. And what I've got here is I'm connecting this to just my single, my main calendar, and I'm putting it into this file here. Now to set up these guys here, you don't put OAuth to client ID or client secret. What you'll do is you'll follow the instructions until so you go to the Google Developers Console, and we'll just kind of do this as a mock right now. We'll just do a mock-up of this. And we're kind of slow today, so hopefully uh, this won't take too long. And we basically have to make a new application under Google. So we're going to create a project, or yeah, that'll do it. And you'll notice here I got org gcal. It's a little small, but that's the project that I'm actually using for um, for my actual day to day on this. Let's give this. A, let's call this um, using Emacs. We will create this. This will take a few seconds to actually do the create. Uh, hopefully it will. There we go. And 
And for this guy over here, we're going to want to use the Google Calendar API, so we'll click on that. And we're going to want to enable this, so we click over here to enable it. Now, we can click here to do credentials later on, but first time through, we can just create our credentials over here. Uh, which API are using the calendar? Uh, where will you be calling this from? We will be calling this from uh, Windows, command line, uh, tool, etc. Um, we're going to get user data on this. What credentials do I need? Let us create a client ID and uh, using Emacs, whatever. We're not going to customize anymore. I'll do this later. Let's go to done. And if we go to credentials here, let us And notice we have a client ID that goes into this client ID and we have a client secret over here. Let me make this a little bigger. And the client secret goes over here. So that's all you have to do. So uh, we'll say this doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to take an extra couple of seconds here. Um, I don't want to take too much time on the video to do this, but what I do want to do is find my way back to, oh here, this might be what I want to look for. Um, no, I don't want to go there. I want to basically go back to the API manager. Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, I'll do this later. I just want to, um, I basically want to get rid of this application because I don't want to leave it out here. Um, and so I have to find this somewhere. Okay, I'll do this later. It's not that important right now. But anyway, um, once we do this, Org GCAL is going to give us, and let me go back to this link. Org GCAL is going to give us a couple of really nice commands. One of them is going to be Org GCAL sync which will sync between the Google Calendar and the org mode file in question, in this case, gcal.org. So if we now look at my agenda, let's, let's look at, oh, then what I also have here are these two hooks, um, org agenda mode hooks. So whenever I go into agenda mode, it's going to resync my calendar. This actually doesn't work seamlessly. I mean, it works, but I sometimes will have to do this twice because if the sync, it bring up the agenda before it does a sync and you know, I'd like it to go first, but I haven't figured out the right hook for that. And then or capture after finalize, this is what syncs after I do my capture, which I'll get to in a minute. But first, let's look at an agenda. So control C A to bring up my agenda and let's just bring up the basic agenda. And it says enter the code that the browser displays. Um, that's because I have not done this authorization yet. Uh, so I will do that now. I will allow this to manage my calendars. And I will enter that. Um, you only have to do this once, it'll be stored. Um, and uh, you know, you'll get a different one, whatever. I just actually reinstall things. So here we have nothing going on here, but let's go out of the calendar and let's put something in for today and let's make it at 10 p.m. Uh, from Google. And now I'm just going to rebuild my agenda. And it's taking a little while here. You know, again, things are really slow today for some reason. Oh, and there we go. Um, and here we've got our from Google and it's synced nicely this way. So let's quit the agenda 
And um, we also have capturing working, which is nice. So let's open this guy up. And uh, notice that these are my files. Um, gcal.org is the one that I'm syncing with Google. These are my old agenda files. And this is my main org file, which I use for other stuff. And we'll talk about that no, um, in a minute. And so notice what we got here is for an appointment, this is basically, I modified my old template a little bit. Um, but we, you can go back and look at my capture template stuff before, but this basically will add a new item into that gcal.org file. Um, and I also have my to-dos, which we'll talk about later. It has nothing to do with that. Those go to i.org. And um, yeah, so let's just do a capture, control CC. Let's make an appointment. And this appointment will be at 4.30 p.m. And stuff from local machine. We'll save that. And here we have stuff from local machine. And now let's get our agenda, control CAA. Stuff from local machine, stuff from Google. And if we come over here, let's look at our stuff from Google. Let's delete this. We could also delete this from the local file. Um, and of course, this is in that gcal.org file, which is a regular org mode file. In fact, let's look at that. Let's first reload this guy here. I don't know if I was in the right window. Oh, I was, okay. And um, so now that stuff is gone. But if I do a follow, notice that it's just, I'm, I'm in this file here. It's just a, it's just a, it's an org file. It's just a regular org file. But let's go over to here. Let's quit out of our agenda. Let's go back into here. And let's get rid of this stuff from local machine just for the hell of it. But this really works well for me. Now, the other thing that I like doing is I'm also using a modified agenda view because you can use agendas to look at to-dos. So um, control C, A, and if I do T for to-do entries, it gives me all these to-do entries. And the to-do entries are from that i.org file, and these are my to-dos. And what I've done, this other line here, this simple agenda view, this gives me, if I do control C, A for agenda, and I'll wait for the screen to clear up, C, it gives me um, both of them. It gives me my agenda and also um, my to-dos. I, I also very frequently like VT in my agenda view, which gives me two weeks of agenda so I can see that there's more stuff going on. Um, so that's basically how I like using uh, my to-dos in my main file and how I sync up with Google. And I wanted to show one other quick thing that you can look at. I don't really use this anymore, but um, there's basically this package called Cal FW uh, Calendar Framework, and I'll put this in the blog post. I don't want to take a lot of time on this here um, because I'm a little bit over my usual 10 or 11 minutes. Um, but what it basically lets you do is it lets you link to a calendar on Google, excuse me, under Google. And then what you can do is what I did here is I have this um, My Calendar, which opens up a calendar buffer. And so I can do my calendar, and I haven't bound this to anything because I don't really use it anymore. Because um, it's really for viewing more than anything else, but what it'll do is it'll go out to Google and grab your calendar uh, or calendars and bring it in this nice form and so you can actually, you know, look at the date in question, you know, et cetera. Um, whatever, which is really nice. Um, I don't really use it because um, I usually just use the agenda to see what's going on. And um, sometimes I'll use it. Sometimes I'll use the main Google Calendar. But this works really well for me for syncing. And between my to-dos in i.org and my main org file and gcal.org for my Google Calendar, it able it let me see things nicely. This is also nice because um, if you'll notice, uh, let's actually VT. Um, I could also put, I don't have anything in here right now, uh, but the nice thing is as long as it's on your calendar, it'll show up here. So if somebody invites you to an event you know, under Google Calendar, that'll appear there. So it works well. Um, and of course, if you look at the um, or gcal documentation, it'll also show you more about if you have multiple calendars. So I uh, hope you find this useful. Um, again, I would recommend checking out Rainier's um, org mode videos in general. I think they're really terrific. Um, I like this way of doing the Google Calendar Sync. It works better for me, but you know, you, it's always nice to have lots of great options. Um, and yeah, so we'll um, enjoy. hope you find this useful.